my government continues to roll out a raft of measures to mitigate the disruption to our life arising from this uh, pandemic. So in that regard, and indeed to foster communication and enable Kenyans to retain and enhance remote access to their offices and enterprises, my administration has granted approvals that will ensure that universal 4G data health coverage is available throughout our country. I am pleased to announce that the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority has signed an agreement with Google Loon in order to allow Loon balloons to fly over Kenyan airspace. These balloons, which will hover well above our commercial airspace, will carry 4G base stations and have the capacity to provide wider signal coverage. This intervention will enable Kenya to retain her competitive advantage in ICT and innovation in the midst of the current crisis, while at the same time laying foundations for greater expansion once the current health challenge is contained. The development will also enable Telcom Kenya and Google Loon to start the commercial rollout of a 4G data network in our country. These two companies have been testing this service for the last two years. Once inaugurated, this service will extend Telcom Kenya's 4G network to areas that are not covered by any of our mobile network providers. Therefore, all Kenyans, wherever they are in our country, will enjoy access to high-speed and affordable internet services. I note the gesture by Google Loon and Telcom to offer their 4G service to support our efforts in surveillance and management of coronavirus infections. And this will go a long way in containing the present health challenge. Indeed, access to these services will keep Kenyans connected to emergency services and to their loved ones, whether isolated or in quarantine, or whether working from home or their usual workplaces. Equally, the use of technology will increasingly become important. Only yesterday, the Kenyatta Diagnostic Center here at Kenyatta Hospital, where we have the CT scan center, we did, and it was the first to happen on the African continent using technology. They were able to remotely conference with three centers in China, one in Egypt, another in France, and also with Eldoret, Moy Referral Teaching Hospital, where they were able to exchange with professionals and clinical officers across the world to share both experiences and practical ways in which we can defeat this virus that is upon us. So the use of technology will continue to become increasingly important as we move forward. More updates on the state or our current state of the virus will be given later by the Ministry of Health in their regular daily briefings. But at this juncture, I cannot but continue to emphasize the need for each and every one of us to follow the protocols 
that have been laid out by the Ministry of Health. Most importantly, with regard to the danger posed to our population by people who flagrantly refuse to adhere to the laid down protocols. I want to once again and categorically reaffirm that the government will take the severest action against any individual who knowingly breach these laid down conventions and procedures and in turn put the rest of the population at risk. So let us be our brother's keeper, let us be our sister's keeper, and I am sure that if we do this, we shall overcome this particular pandemic.